I have a huge admiration for Apple and its innovative products, if you can't tell. But let's be honest, they come with a hefty price tag. Many people who adore Apple may find themselves struggling with the cost of their products. It's no secret that their iPhones can cost upwards of $1,000 and their MacBooks can range anywhere from $1,200 to an eye-watering $3,000. But what if I told you there was a way to finance your Apple products with 0% APR and avoid having to shell out crazy amounts of cash in one go? Enter the Apple Card, a credit card created in partnership with Goldman Sachs back in 2019. One of the best features of this card is the Apple Monthly Installments Program. This program allows you to finance an iPhone, an iPad, AirPods, or even a MacBook for a pre-selected amount of time with 0% APR. That's right, you can spread out the cost of your Apple products without having to pay interest fees. So if you're an Apple enthusiast and want to avoid breaking the bank, the Apple Card and its monthly installments program could be a great option for you. So we're gonna break down exactly how this feature works, including examples, requirements, and eligible Apple devices, as well as my personal experience and cons of using this feature. As I said before, the Apple Card monthly installments feature is an Apple Card feature that allows you to finance Apple products. In other words, you can pay for them in installments without paying any interest. Additionally, you'll receive 3% cash back upfront for your Apple purchases, making it as if you received a discount. However, to use this feature, you must have the Apple credit card. You can easily apply for it online or on your iPhone through the wallet app. To use this feature, all you have to do is simply select Apple Card monthly installments as your payment method when you go to check out. This can be done online, in the Apple Store app, or even in the Apple Store. Each device that you choose to finance will have its own installment plan. Depending on the device, you will have anywhere from six to 24 months to pay it off interest-free. Keep in mind that the monthly installment only includes the price of the Apple items. Shipping and taxes are not included, which means they will be charged to your card upfront on the day of your purchase. In other words, you will only be financing the price of the Apple items. For example, if you wanna finance a new iPhone, once you add it to your bag, you'll be able to see an estimate of your monthly payment amount, your finance period, and the total amount you're financing. To use this feature, the biggest requirement is that you have to have an Apple credit card. The Apple card is an all metal credit card with no fees that offers unlimited daily cash back. You can earn 3% on everything you buy from Apple, 3% when you make purchases at select merchants, 2% on all purchases when you pay with Apple Pay and 1% on all other purchases and when you use the physical Apple credit card to pay. Additionally, your Apple Card's credit limit needs to be high enough to cover your full purchase. That's because your full purchase amount will be subtracted from your Apple Card's credit limit and each item that you finance will be charged to your Apple Card monthly. If your credit limit is too low, you may be able to ask for a credit limit increase on your Apple Card with only a soft pull. The Apple Card monthly installments feature is an excellent way to finance Apple products interest-free. It's easy to use and you can receive cash back upfront for your purchases. However, it's crucial to keep in mind that your Apple Card's credit limit needs to be high enough to cover your full purchase and shipping and taxes are not included in the installment plan. Nonetheless, if you're looking to buy Apple products, this is a feature worth considering. If you love Apple like I do, then check out this video here where I talk about Apple's new high yield savings account.